In this video, I will use an alpha fold model to visualize the binding site of pectinesterase that is present in the skin of oranges. This is the enzyme that helps break down the pectin in cell walls as fruit ripens. The uniplot identifier for pectinase from oranges is 004886. The sequence can be viewed using JALView by clicking on File in the JALView desktop menu and selecting Fetch Sequences. In the new Sequence Fetcher dialog box that opens, select the Uniplot database from the Select Database drop down menu. A Sequence Fetcher window opens, enter the Uniplot identifier and click Return. Then select the option 004886 and click OK. The protein sequence is loaded directly from the Uniplot database. Open the View drop down menu and select Feature Settings. We'll list all the features associated with the sequence in the Sequence Feature Settings dialog box. Clicking the Optimized Order button will reorder the features based on the average length of each feature type. I'm only interested in features labelled Site, Active Site and Binding Site. The others can be hidden by unticking them in the Show column. It is easy to change the colour of the features using the Select Colour dialog box. To view the position of the features on the sequence, click the View menu and select Overview window. This opens the Overview window. The red box reflects the residues visible in the alignment window. The box can be used to scroll across the sequence. To view the entire sequence in the alignment window, go to the Format menu and select Wrap. Clicking on the Annotation menu and unticking Show Annotations will declutter the alignment window. Placing the mouse cursor over the coloured residues opens a tooltip with information about the feature. The status bar in the lower left hand corner also gives information about the amino acid residues. Although the 3D structure of this sequence has not been solved experimentally, JALView has the capability of accessing protein structure prediction models such as Swiss model and AlphaFold. Right click on the sequence ID name opens a context menu, then select 3D structure data. The structure chooser dialog box opens. Swiss model predicts protein 3D structure using homology modeling, whilst AlphaFold uses deep learning based algorithms. Select the AlphaFold model in the list and click Open New Structure View with Chimera X to open the 3D structure viewer. Resonant features have been loaded, colouring the structure green. These can be hidden via the Sequence Feature Settings dialog box. Now the spatial location of the features can be examined on the 3D model and the binding site outlined. The 3D structure of pectin methyl esterase complex has been determined experimentally by X-ray crystallography with hexasaccharide in the binding site. This sequence can be opened in JALView and its structure viewed using the Uniplot identifier POC1A9 and opening the 3D structure 2NTB. This illustrates how the polysaccharide sits in the binding site. As the alpha fold model structure of pectinesterase is only a protein structure prediction, it is useful to view the alpha fold confidence scores in JALView. First, open the Structure Preference tab and ensure the Temperature Factor option is enabled. Read the alpha fold model into the 3D structure viewer, then right click on the sequence ID to open the context menu and select Selection and add reference annotations. The AlphaFold confidence scores appear in the annotation row. These can be used to colour the model. Select Colour and by annotation. In the Colour by annotation dialog box, select AlphaFold reliability and above threshold in the drop down menus. Tick the threshold is min max option and set the threshold at 70. With this yellow and blue colour scheme, Regions of high confidence are shaded blue and those of low confidence are shaded white and yellow.